In the previous episode we did a lot of weathering on this B26 invader. Today we are going to put all the bits and bobs together to complete this build. Let's go! The assembly will start with attaching the engines where they belong and this should be fairly straightforward job because the attachment points are quite positive. I'm going to use Mr. Cement Deluxe for this, applying glue on both surfaces. Some time to hold them in is necessary with this glue because it is not as fast setting as the other types, the Mr. Cement S and the SP. The next thing to do is to put the engine cowlings in place. The fit is rather good, but still we'll need to make sure that the tops and the back of the cowlings are flush. So later we don't have any issues with the fitment of the cow flaps. That's why I'm going to glue them in place one by one. Now let's put the cow flaps on. One advice I have here is don't remove these from the sprues until you're ready to glue and then remove them one by one because each of them is going to a specific location. So it probably will not fit unless placed on its target location. Another piece of advice from me would be to dry fit first each and every one of these flaps because sometimes the exhaust stacks are sitting a little bit too proud and they're pushing the flaps outwards. Now let's go to the most intimidating part of the assembly for me personally. I will get the glue inside using one of these micro brushes because the brush that comes with the glue is not going to reach down there. As usual glue is also applied on the other side so that we can have both surfaces melted. And it is time for the gear leg to permanently get fixed in position. Alright, so far so good. Now let's try and thread these lines in. They're excessively long so I can push them into the openings and they can stay in place right inside because if they are too short the fishing line springs back and this can be very annoying. Okay, those are threaded in place and it's now time to apply some super glue inside so we can secure their positions. I don't know if this was worth all the effort but it is there. One more line to put in. There we go. As usual links to most tools and materials I use can be found in the description of this video. Now this is another occasion of really hard job to do. Here we have resin wheels which are weighted and are very nice and detailed but when the wheels are weighted you cannot just place them in any way. So in order to have a good three wheels standing on the ground I did everything that I know and can do in order to align the wheels properly. Now I will secure them with some amount of CA glue, trying to be extremely careful not to make the glue too obvious for everyone watching. And we'll leave this to cure so I can count on the joints and flip the aircraft around once again. While waiting for the wheels to cure, let's install the bomb bay doors. The fit there is nice, except that I really don't like how the bomb racks are mounted. The fit is extremely flimsy. I already broken them in a few occasions on top of that. Now let's take a break and attach some less demanding details like 
the thirds for example while I'm gluing parts together let me share with you some statistics from this project it began on the 3rd of March 2021 and I finished it on July the 7th of 2022 so 16 months in the making probably I should have named the channel Captain Slow Models for this time I generated over 400 gigabytes of footage 2400 raw images of those pictures I have 900 uploaded on my Patreon page in addition to the 38 video updates I started the build with For those of you who are new to the build I highly recommend watching the entire series playlist Now that every video is published you can watch the build as one whole thing also, a big shout out to Elegu for enabling the creation of the napalm tanks and I'm sure many more parts and details in the future. You can find a link to their 3D printing solutions in the description of this video. Now let's put the area on, I have this AK rigging material which is a little bit too small for the scale but since I don't have any other currently it will have to do and as always it is a let's just say troublesome part of any build for me. Now let's go to the mast on the front good block of CA glue and let's hope that it does not tear from the area of the tail and the second thread I will super glue in this hole that's near the tail okay and then this will hopefully get good right here Now let's put the propellers on Next week I will be posting images of the completed model in the community tab so make sure you follow that Big thank you to all my Patreon members for supporting the channel and making all of this possible And thanks to everyone for watching and until next time Happy modeling fellas